Stevenson gets the 19-12 win here on senior night. Glenn Clark with head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, a little bit of a sloppy first quarter, and I know the uh, the end of the second quarter was certainly not what you're looking for. What changed at halftime that uh, got these guys dialed, guys dialed in in the second half? Well, I think we got to get out of our own way at times. You know what I mean? I thought that we kind of started a little sloppy, and they played hard, which we knew they were going to do. And um, and then uh, I thought we got in a great role, got up 83, and we, eight to three, and we got a lot of really good opportunities, but we weren't putting them away. I thought we did some really silly things and got a little selfish because guys wanted to do some things, and that haunt that hurts us. So we need to play as a team when we do that, and we get in a good flow that really works well. We can't get into the selfishness and who's going to score the goal, who does. When we when we let the ball flow, and every doesn't matter who scores, that's when we're at our best. And uh, I thought you know, we did that for. A little while today in the third quarter we came out seven to one quarter thought we did a great job of that but then in the th fourth quarter we kind of kind of back to that a little bit so we just got to continue to do that and and uh continue to play together you know we got some guys in there and it's always good on senior day to win a senior day but it's also really tough to win on senior day you know to do that because all the emotions are so high and all that kind of stuff but um uh we're happy we got the w but you know i think we got to um play better together and not worry about the selfishness as much as just getting the job done and right now it's you know playoff lacrosse every every possession matters every shot matters and we got to get into that one possession at a time um, mentality. You, know, you referenced that. I asked Greg there at the end of the broadcast. I said, "What's the difference for this team in, in winning a championship?" He said, "It's team ball. It's that's all. It this team plays team ball. They're as good as anybody in the country." Do, do you feel like that's the biggest? And this is gonna be a tough week. Obviously, you got two potentially really good opponents you're gonna have to face. Is it as simple as saying you play team ball? You're gonna be in good shape. Well, it is, and that's the thing. But that's why I said, you know, can't have our emotions or who haven't touched the ball as much, or you know, you got to get into that flow. So we're really good at that we've had so many assisted goals this year uh, we move so well off the ball we ride you know we, we do those things really well when we get outside of that uh, then I think that gets in trouble when we start to do the behind the backs so or we try to you know I want to score here I'm going to try to do this and so I just saw that you know, second quarter for a little while. You know, we could have really gotten eight, nine, 10, 12, 13 goals up up there early by the way we were playing, but we were doing too many fancy things and a little too many selfish things, and we gave Widener a couple goals there and give them a little bit of life. And that's what you can't do against good teams with that. And so we have to do a really good job of that against Eastern. We had a great goal, uh, great goal with them earlier in the year, and we're going to have to play better. And their goalie played great against us when he played them. All right, I want to talk about You mentioned a couple guys. Dee Fleury making that first save when he came in. Man, <laughs> yeah. that was electric. Yeah, it's great. You know, anytime you get a you know senior goalie who hasn't played a whole lot, he goes in there and makes that say whole bench blew up and so happy for Paul uh, to get in there and do that and so I know he hasn't played a lot in his career but to get that kind of moment for him is really special and then uh, the polls tonight getting involved offensive we're going to talk to Nick in a second but it wasn't just him Schmidt helping out like the, yeah. the polls were super active offensively tonight yeah I think we got some slick guys you know Eddie and uh, Damian and uh, and Ryan Quinn runs really well and uh, Nick's learning to run up the field now you know before <laughs> he used to not do that but you know he's so big and athletic and can run so much and run through people he's, he needs to learn how to use his uh, size and athletic ability to do his advantage a little bit more uh, but so happy to get his first goal there and but we want our polls to be active you know Shell's really active Eddie's active Damien's active you know Quinn runs really well we want our polls to stay in there and do some really good things because they can be dangerous you know we can score in many different ways when they're on the field picking up ground balls uh, going on breaks like Nolan off the face off we can keep those guys in there as you see a lot we keep 45 and 19 yep. and 2 in the, on the offensive end a lot because they really cause problems and if we lose it we already have them on the field so uh, I think our polls are playing great and but you know we got to lock down a little bit better and not give us much transition. All right, Coach, congratulations on the win. We'll see you back here Thursday night. Appreciate it.